Hi, I'm Miss Vicki from the Keep Me County Library, and this is a children's book recommendation video. Today we're going to be talking about some of the brand new chapter books that have come out since the library has been closed, so you don't have to miss them. The first book I'm going to talk about today is Wondrous Rex by Patricia McLachlan, who is a Newbery Award-winning author of Sarah Plain and Tall. This book is a nice beginning chapter book for children ages six and up, and it's about a girl named Grace who's living with her Aunt Lily, and she absolutely loves writing and she wants to be an author, but she lacks the confidence to do so. So one day, her Aunt Lily, who is a writer, asks for an assistant, and a magician drops off a dog named Rex. And Rex has some very magical properties about him. And with his help, Grace realizes that she can be a writer and has the confidence to do so. And again, this is a great beginning chapter book for ages six and up. The next book I'm going to talk about is Can You See Me? by Libby Scott and Rebecca Westcott. This is an own voices novel written by Libby Scott, who is a 12-year-old girl on the autism spectrum disorder, as well as a special education teacher named Rebecca Westcott, both from the United Kingdom. This book is about a 12-year-old girl named Tally, who's entering into sixth grade, and she has all the typical nerves that a typical new sixth grader has about going to school, like classes, friends, bullies, and Tally has an extra thing she has to worry about, and she's worried about her classmates, realizing that she is on the autism spectrum disorder. So, this is a great story for um, fans of wonder, actually, because it allows you to step into Tally's shoes for a couple of hours and see things from her perspective. This is a great book for our ages nine and up. The next book I'm going to talk about is The One and Only Bob by Katherine Applegate. And if you've read The One and Only Ivan, you will definitely love this book. This book is about a dog named Bob who lives near the zoo where Ruby and Ivan ended up at the end of the last book. And a tornado rips through the zoo and Bob has to help out. But through helping out, he realizes that he has to confront his past before he moved in with the zookeeper and his daughter. Again, this is a great book if you've read the first book, The One and Only Ivan, and you'd like this if you also enjoyed Pax by Sari Pennypacker. The next book I'm going to talk about is The List of Things That Will Not Change by another Newbery Award winning author named Rebecca Scott. And this is a book about a girl whose parents are divorced and she copes by writing a list of things that will not change. Number one of which is that her parents will always love her. But this book is mostly about her father starting to remarry. He's going to be remarrying a man named Jesse and she's going to get a stepsister which is going to be her only sibling. So she's pretty excited about it, but you know, these things are never as easy as you want them to be. And this is a great realistic story. It's very relatable, and it offers a look at non-traditional family structures. And the last book I'm gonna talk about today is Efren Divided by Ernesto Cisneros. Efren is an American-born boy with undocumented parents. And his parents work very hard to make sure that he and his younger siblings are able to have a really decent life. However, one day his mom doesn't come home and they realize that she's been deported back to Mexico. So Efren and his dad has to, have to keep working to make sure that the family stays able to eat and you know, keep their house. So this story is about a family coping with the absence of their mother and Efren's quest to keep his family together. This is another Own Voices novel and it's relevant today and gives reader a perspective into a family with undocumented parents. This is a great story for ages nine and up. And just for a bonus, we also got in Camping with Unicorns, the latest graphic novel in the Phoebe and our Unicorn series. All of these books are available to be requested at www.cmclibrary.org. And don't forget the Summer Reading Club is currently ongoing, so you can also register for the Summer Reading Club. We have a special program this week, Turtle Dance Music, which you can only view through your Summer Reading Club account.
to please register today. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next week with Miss Olivia and her picture book recommendations.